If you aren't old enough to remember them the first time round, then this is your chance to get to know 80s synth pop band OMD, otherwise known as Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Well, after 30 years in the business and with the original lineup, the guys are back on the road with the greatest hits album just around the corner. We spoke to founding members Andy McCluskey and Paul Humphreys to find out more about the upcoming tour and to delve into some of their career highlights. It was October 1978 we opened up for Joy Division in Eric's Club in Liverpool. And Playing a uh, one-off gig. We just decided yeah, to do one concert, one that's why we chose the name Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, because it didn't really matter, we just wanted a ridiculous name so that people knew that we weren't rock or punk or whatever. And literally we just dared ourselves to go on stage uh, with a tape recorder because none of our mates wanted to play our songs. And here we are 30 years later. We're trying to show uh, across the history of, of the band. Uh, we have the dilemma that we have is that the sort of the die-hard OMD fans know us for our more experimental stuff, which we always have to put in. And traditionally, we always started our concerts with the sort of weird uh, instrumental title track from the album and such. But obviously, a lot of other people will just know us from our greatest hits. So um, I suppose it's a nice dilemma to have. But uh, you know, there'll be five weird tracks, and then the rest of the will be the rest of the concert will be hit singles. Fifteen only. hit singles. Yeah. Nice problem to have. So don't ask me if I think Actually, strangely, uh, we've met many, many, you know, big stars, I guess, over the years. But the only time I've really been starstruck was when I met a, a German band called Kraftwerk, because <laughs> they were our reason for starting, you know, the big electronic band from the sort of 70s, really. But, you know, when we both heard them play on the radio when we were sort of 15, we thought, well, you know, they're the future and they're, we want to make music like this. Uh, one thing I discovered, because we had two singles about Joan of Arc that were both top five singles actually, um, and one thing you discover when you start writing songs about dead women is that in the same way that, you know, the stereotype of most loony men is that they think they're either Napoleon or Julius Caesar reincarnated, <laughs> loony women also have two choices, you know, it's either Cleopatra or Joan of Arc. Um, the number of loony people who thought they were Joan of Arc reincarnated who would try and get on our tour bus and knock on our doors at midnight and thank you for writing songs about me. I'm so, yeah, that was pretty weird. Let's hope the Joan of Arcs keep a low profile. This tour it kicks off in Dublin on September the 29th. OMD's Greatest Hits album comes out on the same day.